In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect printer to phone Epson L3250. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to go over the most convenient way of connecting your Epson printer to your phone. So in this video, I'm going to be covering the 325 zero model specifically but this is also going to work for any other model that you have for example i have the l3150 but the process is the same all that you have to do to easily set it up on your phone is to download the apps and iprint mobile app so go over to the google play store if you are on android or the app store if you are on ios and look for apps and iprint once you download this application you will be able to set it up through various different methods so usually there will be a pop-up asking you to set up a device or a printer, or you can just tap over here at the top. Now, when you tap on printer, you will be able to find all of the options that you have to connect one. So you will be able to connect it locally to using it IP or then remote. And at the bottom, you can also use Wi-Fi direct. So you can just choose any of these. The one that I recommend is going to be local. So all that you have to do is on the printer itself, press and hold the Wi-Fi button. Usually some lights will flash indicating that it is looking for a network. And once it finishes properly connecting to the same Wi-Fi network, it is going to be listed here. Now, sadly, I won't be able to demonstrate this process in full because I'm not in close proximity with my printer at the moment, but it is going to be listed here. Alternatively, if you want to use something like Wi-Fi Direct, you will be able to press the Wi-Fi Direct button on your printer's control panel. Once this is done, you can just go over here and tap the option at the bottom right and now you can choose between a printer with the lcd screen or without and then once this is done they will give you detailed instructions on what you have to do so as long as you share the permissions as needed and you choose between using it locally manual ip remote or wi-fi direct it is going to be listed here and now you can choose between any of the main options such as printing scanning and copying I hope I was able to help you on how to connect printer to phone apps and L3250. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.